Hey everybody, it's Mindy. I got a quick little lesson for you today. Today we're gonna do a couple different fills that are both gonna tie into a main rhythmic beat that we're playing. So basically what we're doing is playing a beat and then playing fills that follow the accent pattern of the beat so that the fill fits in with the beat and it's not just you're playing a cool groove, you get to the fill and you just make something up that doesn't connect to the fill. When you have a rhythmic pattern that carries over from beat to fill, it allows the audience to continue, you know, being in the group, dancing, clapping along, whatever. If you're playing one beat and then the fill is completely different, it not only can throw your bandmates off, but it can also throw off the audience. And the goal is, you know, we're not playing to impress ourselves and we're not playing to impress other drummers with our fancy skills. We're playing to make this music enjoyable. So that's what this is about. <laughs> Beat we're gonna do is gonna be nice and simple. Um, bass snare pattern is just gonna be one, a two, three, a four, one, a two, three, a four. So those are our accents that we're gonna work with and we're gonna try to when we get to the fill, nail those accents so that it kind of carries over. I'm going to do eighth notes on that hi-hat, so the beat will actually be two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the beats I'm going to show you, we're actually going to be just on counts three and four, so a little half measure fills, not even a whole measure, just a little something something. and. If you do what I'm saying where you kind of keep the theme of the beat going into the fill, you can play a different fill each time, but it still keeps the flow of the song going. All right. So first one is fun and it's going to have a six stroke roll in it. When we get to counts three, you're going to hit the high tom, three, and then you're going to do a six stroke roll. So double, double, accent, accent, three, E, and a four. Time again for and. So three E and a four and. A four, one, a two, three, and a four and. All right. See how we hit the accents on a four which matches up with our bass drum snare pattern of one, a two, three, a four. So it keeps that uh, pattern going within from beat to fill, keeps it kind of nice and solid, makes it smooth. <laughs> All right, so let's look at another option we can do here. We're gonna do, this next one's gonna include flams. So we're gonna do flam on three, we're gonna do the bass drum on a four, and then do another flame on the and. So nice and simple, it's got some nice space in there. Um, space is really cool to utilize in fills as opposed to just trying to hit every note, you know? So we'll try that nice and so slow. Three, a four, and. They're interchangeable. You can use them. There's a you can work with them too. Not just those two. See what you can come up with. Try playing that beat I just showed you guys, and then get inventive and see what different fills you can come up with that fit smoothly with that beat that can keep the audience clapping, dancing, or whatever they are doing to enjoy your music. All right, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.